so I quite possibly had the world's smallest Ulta haul to show you guys. Um, but I mean, it's okay that it's small. I want you guys to know that like, I know and I I do this so I'm just sharing this with you guys because I do this I will get on YouTube and I will watch hauls and I feel really bad that I can't afford or choose not to afford I guess to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on all these new products and stuff like that so to avoid excessive spending I go okay I'm gonna spend X amount on makeup this month and what are the top products that I wanna try? And I will make a list. And I have not gone makeup shopping in a little bit. Um, it's been a while since I've gone makeup shopping just because of personal reasons. And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna dip back into makeup shopping, but I don't wanna go hog wild because I have a really hard time with self-control when it comes to shopping. So basically, instead of feeling bad, um, I'm like, okay, I can buy a couple of things and not feel guilty about it and know that I'm choosing to be financially responsible rather than fall into the trap of being id-based and just buying everything that I want and not thinking about my financial future. So I wanna share this haul with you guys because I do have four new products. Um, I spent 18 maybe I don't remember actually I think it was like it was I know it was under 20 I think actually like the total of all of the products is maybe 15 maybe 15 15 16 dollars um and then the extra was just taxes and shipping and everything like that so I have a couple products that I've been wanting to try and a couple well two products that I needed and two products that I've been wanting to try so here is everything actually i just realized that everything here is from la girl so la girl is a brand that i've been wanting to try for a while never got around to it never saw it in the ulta stores that i go to so i was like okay i need to i need to get an eyebrow pencil is really how this all started um i ran out of my nyx brow pencil and i was like okay i'm literally buying one of these every two weeks what's a way that i can like cut my cost um, and what's a new bra pencil that I can try. I've heard really great things about LA Girl. I mean, I've heard not so great things, but I have heard a lot of people talk up LA Girl. So I was like, okay, why don't I try out one of their brow pencils? Funny story. This eyebrow right here is with the NYX, what are the, the, their $10 brow pencil. I can't remember what it's called. This is the NYX $10 brow pencil. And this eyebrow is with the LA Girl Shady Slim brow pencil. I literally ran out of my NYX pencil doing my makeup today. Um, and so I had to finish off this eyebrow using this pencil. So this is the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil in shade Soft Brown. Now this comes with a spoolie and it's twist upable just like the NYX one is. Um, I still get as much like color payoff I'm really able to like customize like I can press down like really light and just draw in some super fine hairs or I can like press down really hard and I get like a darker payoff but the only thing is is with the darker payoff like with NYX you're able to like press down hard and get that immediate color payoff whereas with this it's a lot more buildable which kind of gives you the option to customize um I like the spoolie there's I really like this brow pencil I feel like it lasts really long especially when I'm sweaty my eyebrows will kind of become patchy but I haven't had that problem with this brow pencil so I bought the brow pencil and then I also bought the LA girl pro concealer um so I got this in shade light ivory I got this in shade light ivory and look how orange it is. I'm going to put some on my chest to show you guys. I don't have anything on my chest, um, but basically it just comes with a brush on applicator. And I pulled this out and I was like, are we sure that they sent me the right shade? Because, oh, there it is. Okay. I was like, are we sure that they sent me the right shade? Because this is really, really orange. It didn't look this orange on their website. So as you can see, it's kind of definitely a little too dark for me. But when I blend it out, it's not terrible. I'm ending up pairing this concealer with my ColourPop concealer, which is too light for me. So it kind of ends up blending out and working out for me anyway. But I was really shocked at how dark this is. Like it didn't look like at this at all on the website. So I definitely would have gone with porcelain because this is just too orange for me. However, I have been using it as a base for my eyeshadow. It blends out well. It's just a little tricky to get on because of the squeeze tube and because of the foam applicator. I mean, I mean the brush applicator. I feel like a lot of the product gets sucked up in the brush applicator. So I kind of feel like some is going to waste in there. It was a cheap concealer. I don't know how well of a job it does by itself covering blemishes and dark spots and stuff like that because again, I've mixed it with my ColourPop concealer. But as an eyeshadow, 
eyeshadow base. I think it's doing a good job. It blends out. It doesn't clump up. It doesn't like pat it's not patchy. So overall for an eyeshadow base, I'm liking it and mixed with another concealer. I like it. I will just need to reorder a different shade because this is definitely even in my summer shade, this is way too dark for me. The next thing that I got is the LA Girl Pro Coverage High Definition Long Wearing Foundation. I got this in shade Fair. I'll put some of this on my chest too, just to show you guys. So I got this in Fair, and as you guys can see, like, okay, we have the concealer right here, and we have the foundation right here. It's a little yellow, um, but it's not horrible. It's something that if I blend it down my neck and if I wear a higher cut shirt, I can make it work for me. This is definitely more of like a summer shade, um, but if I also, like I have used this and I have paired it with a light um, setting powder and I've been able to make this work for me. I like the coverage of it. It definitely has like medium to full coverage, definitely more buildable. Um, the only thing is, is I don't find that it's long lasting. I have very oily skin and I was out and it was hot and it was humid and I was sweating and my foundation kind of it didn't last super long. However, I didn't wear a primer with it, so I'm sure if I wore a primer that I know and trust, pair it with this foundation, I would probably get some more longevity out of this foundation. I would choose a different color. I would go a shade lighter. It doesn't, their colors don't really come up this yellow on the website, but now that I've ordered from them and now that I know that they have lighter, I mean more yellow, base tones for their concealer and their foundation. I'll definitely keep that in mind and at least order a shade lighter than I need to because everything else is just going to look too dark on my skin. And then because I had spent $15 with all three of those products, um, I got a free lip liner and girl, I've been in need of a lip liner for so long. I don't know why it's taken me so long to finally order one. This is, well, I didn't order it technically. Like I was able to pick out the shade, but I got this sent to me free. And out of everything in this mini haul, this is definitely the best item. This is my favorite item. So this is, this is the LA Girl Ultimate Lips Intense Stay Auto Liner. So this is a gel lip liner. I got this in shade Enduring Mauve. You just crank it up just by twisting it. No need for sharpening. And it glides on so well. It's so pigmented. It's buttery. It's long lasting. It doesn't cake on my lips. It doesn't make my lips feel or look dry. It's not gross feeling. It just boom nobody's business doesn't play around I actually just had some chip off I've never had that happen before um but it doesn't it doesn't play around it's like I've used a lot of lip liners and this is my favorite gel eyeliner I've never used a high-end uh lip liner I will admit to that I've never used a high-end gel eyeliner I mean lip liner but this out of all of the gel lip liners that I've ever tried is a definite win I like that I don't have to sharpen it I like that it rolls up by itself I like how pigmented and easy and how I can really get in and certainly detail my lips and not have to feel like the pencils controlling me because it's dragging or something it glided on really easy it um, was very pigmented and it is long-lasting so I'm actually really really happy with that and i will definitely be ordering more shades of that lip liner in the future so that is it for my mini ulta haul um i just wanted to sit here and talk to you guys about some new products that i got and what i was excited about and what i felt like worked for me and what i didn't feel like it worked for me do you guys have any tips on shopping with la girl do you have any tips or tricks that i have never heard of or don't know about that would maybe make my makeup choices a little bit easier or a little bit of a better fit for me i can't wait to hear from you guys in the comment section down below i love you all so much and i will see you in my next video